Hey guys, what's up? So in this video we are going to look at a very simple Unix command that is uname. So what does uname do? So uname is actually a command which will help you get some information about the system you are working on, hardware and kernel and all these things. So here I wrote uname and it returned me Darwin. So actually I'm using Mac and the kernel being used in Mac operating system is Darwin. If you are, if you are using Ubuntu or if you are using CentOS then you will get the return value Linux because the kernel being used is Linux. So when you just write your name you get the name of the kernel that you use. And another way to get the same result is dash s. Dash s also returns the name of the kernel. But if you want to get to know the release version of the kernel then you will write it like dash r. r for release version okay now if you want to get to the full name of that release then you will have to write v and here so this is the full name for uh, for people who are using centos ubuntu or other unix versions they will also get similar thing so here for mac this is darwin kernel version 12.5.0 and this is the release date and all these things <coughs> okay so now if you want to know the architecture of your processor then you will pass p p for processor and here i386 so this is the architecture uh, of my uh, i mean the processor in my machine so this is a 32 bit computer and you got this if it were 64 bit then you will get something different i mean something that represents the 64 bit operating system and uh, so yeah and there is one more and that is M. M is for the machine ID number. So here this is x86 underscore 64. You shouldn't confuse it with the 64 bit architecture. This is actually the machine ID number. So I mean um, the, um, our, I mean our machines have different way of uh, printing something here but for the processor the thing that you should look here is the one that is returned by writing dash p. Okay and um, also if you want to know the name of the um, current uh, uh, user then I mean current node then you will write dash n and you will get that so uname is kind of very handy and most of the times I use uname on any system to know the processor architecture so this is the command for which I use it okay and if you want to get all the information at one go then you write just uname dash a a for all so this is the way we use uname thank you thank you very much